You're watching UNICEF television. Mazikian Toy breaks the branches of some mountain shrubs to make a small fire to cook a meal for her two grandchildren. Arthritis prevents the 72-year-old grandmother from planting and harvesting the field near her house. And while caring for her grandchildren is hard work, she has no choice. Her daughter died almost 10 years ago, leaving them solely dependent on her. The only income she now receives is through her old age pension of just over $40 a month and a cash grant of around $50 every quarter. This money has helped me a lot, especially for these two children to provide them with food and clothing. Mazakia's family is a recipient of Lesotho's cash grants program a safety net for the country's poorest children. The grant is just one component of a social protection system being built by the government of Lesotho with support from the European Union and UNICEF. Mazakia's story is not unique. In the village of Matsieng, being the sole caregiver for her seven grandchildren was not what Mamputumani had planned for going into her twilight years. With so many mouths to feed, school clothes and shoes are luxuries she simply can't afford. These children would come home from school and would tell me that I have to buy them a school uniform. As they would sometimes walk to school with torn shoes, I would ask them to tell the teachers that I don't have the money. I cannot even provide food at home. While the Sutu offers free primary school education, tragically, a child's attendance is often determined by whether or not they have a school uniform to wear. So in addition to the quarterly cash grant, Mampo benefits from the school uniform bursary scheme. This is all part of the efforts to build a practical social protection plan to cushion families against tough economic circumstances and the impact of HIV and AIDS. Lesotho is one of the poorest countries on earth and has the third highest HIV prevalence. As a result of this pandemic, thousands of children are forced to grow up without mothers and fathers. We want to give help to these children, to these orphaned and vulnerable children. What we try to do is to develop the social protection system here because it's not only cash grants to children, we also want to help them with with the school feeding program. Through the system, we want to, 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 to help uh, on the HIV uh, issue, both in terms of uh, prevention and also in terms of, uh, of treatments. In remote rural mountain villages like this one, the safety net is not just about making sure the cash grants or uniforms are received on time. It's also about making sure that the children are physically and emotionally healthy. A regular visit by a community volunteer who checks in on the children and provides grandmothers with practical advice is a critical part of this program. The system is also monitored by community councillors like Lekhula Ntai who travel from village to village to make sure families get the right support. The difference that I have noticed is that most parents are struggling. The majority of children are not attending school due to a lack of school uniforms. But they are now able to attend school, particularly the families that are receiving grants. While the Sutu's social economic situation becomes increasingly challenging, in an ever uncertain global economic environment, Combined with dramatic domestic HIV and AIDS prevalence, its commitment to overcome these hurdles is ever present. Government commitment to social service is still very good. And even under these difficult times, they have been able to keep the level of funding for health, for education, and the basic social services in that context. And I think that has been done very well, and we are very glad that the government is doing that. But on the other hand, from UNICEF and other development partners in Lesotho, one of the key things we are trying to do is make sure that the limited resources we have, 
available from development partners is used effectively and efficiently in order to be able to produce better results. At the Tumani household, a precious pair of school shoes is put away for the day to take part in a friendly post-school game of soccer. But for Talang Tipe, the fact that he can go to school in a uniform like all the other learners and return to a caring home is the foundation for fulfilling his dream of one day becoming a teacher himself. I want to be a teacher. And importantly, he is able to enjoy his childhood. This is Suzanne Birkus reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.